these are filled with clothes that do not fit me. And I have a lot of really mixed feelings about having these, like, at all. And the reason, I think the reason I've been having mixed feelings about keeping those clothes is, like, some of them are going to be a size that are just it's just not going to be, I don't think is just going to be attainable for me anymore. Um, they're going to be a size of when I was, hi Nuna, of when I was um, not in a good place, um, when I was in the depths of my ED. Um, I have clothes there that are size zero, size two, um, size four, um, Six, I think, is attainable, say six. Lower than that, I don't, I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't think so. I think I have let go of ever wanting to even get that small anymore. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to be healthy, you know? Um, and healthy isn't necessarily a size. That for my mental health, my shoulder cracked when I did that. For my mental health, um, I'm just, it's not gonna happen and it's okay. <laughs> it's not gonna happen and it's okay. So I'm just thinking about when I'm gonna even look at the clothes. Um, I don't wanna trigger myself. It's been a long time. I do consider myself like 98% recovered, 97, 98% recovered. Um, but for sure, like, my big thing when I was sick was um, I would go through my closet and my form, I guess, of body checking was to go through my entire closet and try on all of my clothes, including and especially clothes that were too small for me because then I could shame myself for not fitting the clothes, knowing full well already that they didn't fit me. Um, and so I guess I worry a little bit about how I'm going to feel. Um, so I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it. I'm not gonna touch the clothes. At some point I do want to open it up because there's clothes there that I really like. Um, and there's going to be clothes that I really like that are just not ever going to fit me ever again. And it's gonna be a bit of a, of a sad moment, you know, because you're kind of letting go of some idea i don't know so sorry this was um a weird moment anyway not me taking the elevator as i head to the gym couldn't be me Good morning, I am making a salad for lunch. I'm not just having salad. Anyway, I just weighed in this morning and um, I believe that that is one and a half pounds down from last week. So seven days, one and a half pounds. I'm happy with that. That is within that healthy range that I'm looking for. Not an exciting raid range. Like I'm not coming out here on the internet saying how I lost. 10 pounds in seven days, <laughs> like one to, one to two pounds a week. Um, so that is my aim and that is what I got this week. So that is exactly the range that I'm looking for. I'm happy with that. I think it's enough for like, that it gives me an idea that like, I know that I'm losing on a calorie deficit, which is like how weight loss just works, but I'm also not obsessing over food and calories because uh, I'm not counting calories. <laughs> so I'm happy with that. Um, I'm good with that. Um, Non-scale victories. I think that, not last night, but the night before, I think that I got my fastest mile ever on the treadmill. Um, yeah, and I was feeling really like good. I was able to run like my first, because I go in like spurts, you know, like run and then walk and run and walk. And my first one, I was able to go longer than usual, like five minutes without stopping at all. 
Um, so that really pushed my time forward. Um, and I think it's partially because I actually took my inhaler, <laughs> which I like never do and I really should do. I'm cutting up a avocado. So yeah, I think that's my non-scale victory for this week. Oh, another thing is that I have started the Stretch It app. I was a dancer for like 11 years and I was like really flexible and I stopped dancing. And to be honest, I stayed flexible for a long time until like, especially in the last like two years, I've noticed a pretty big decline in my f general flexibility and like range of motion. And that's not good so i decided to get the stretch it app they have like guided stretches so i'm gonna do that and see how that feels yeah because having a lack of mobility is a like one of those things that is really going to age you and is really going to put you in a place um, where you're vulnerable to injury and and if i'm you know i'm working out that's already putting yourself in a in a position where you you may possibly get injured and i don't want to compound that by not having good flexibility and mobility so i'm trying to do my best to work on multiple parts of my fitness not just like how long i can run and how heavy i can lift um because i just i want an overall better quality of life anyway there's my salad I like it. It's gonna be good. That and my little parfait. And then lately, um, I've after every lunch, I have myself a piece of Swiss chocolate, the chocolate that I brought back from Switzerland, and it makes me happy. And it makes me feel like I am treating myself. I am not keeping the chocolate for myself. All right. <laughs> so, um, anyway, balance. That's it. That's all I have to say. Thank you. I'll see you later. No, I think we're done. I think we're done. Um, I think we're done with this video. It's gonna be a really short one because I suck. Because <laughs> I suck. And I actually want to get this video on time, like out on time, at least Wednesday or Thursday and not Sunday like last time, which gave me like a very little time to film anything for this video. So we're catching up, we're doing good. Um, I am thinking of a couple things I want to do and that is first I want to spring clean it is daylight savings time this weekend and I'm feeling in like a spring cleaning mood uh, my apartment needs cleaning <laughs> it needs like deep cleaning um, and also I want to make it like my own finally like I've been living here for a bit this is gonna be my fifth month here and I have not put up all of the stuff that I want to put up. If you'd be interested in a cleaning video, let me know. Um, I'll probably do it anyway, even if you're not interested. Um, another thing is there's a commentary topic that I would like to do. I'm just very like nervous about it. <laughs> My last couple of commentary videos about Elise like got a good deal of way more than I thought, way more attention than I thought it would. Um, and I stand by like, pretty much everything I've said. I don't regret anything. I just like, I, I wanna get it right and I wanna approach it in a good, in a correct way. Maybe in the next couple weeks. Yeah, maybe in the next couple weeks. I will put that out, hopefully. Cause I know a lot of people like subscribe to me for that. And um, I'm doing these like, videos like purely because the, the fun of it, cause I want to, cause it's fun. Um, but I do understand that a lot of people subscribe for like more commentary because those were what I was doing. <laughs> um, so I don't feel bad when people unsubscribe. It's fine. Like I understand it's like what you came for. Um, but this is just fun. It's just fun. You know? Anyway. Oh my God. I've spoken for 15 minutes. 
I have to go. Bye. Thank you for watching. I think this is the end um, of this video. Um, get yourself some flowers because they bring happiness. These were like $2. That's so cheap. All right. That's it. Bye.